the War of St. Sabas or San Saba was a conflict between the Mediterranean Maritime Republics of Genoa and Venice. Background The war began when the Venetians were evicted from Tyre in 1256 and war grew out of a dispute concerning land in Acre then owned by the monastery of St. Sabas but claimed by both Genoa and Venice. Initially Genoa had a clear upper hand, but its early successes were abruptly reversed when the Republic of Pisa, a former ally, signed a ten-year pact of military alliance with Venice. In 1257 a Venetian admiral, Lorenzo Tipolo, broke through Acre's harbour chain and destroyed several Genoese ships, conquered the disputed property and destroyed St. Sabas' fortifications, however he was unable to expel the Genoza, who were 800 men strong and armed with 50 to 60 ballista, from their quarter of the city despite throwing up a blockade. There were also siege engines among the Venetians. The famed Genoza crossbowmen took part in the fighting in Acre. The life of the Count of Jaffa was only spared by a chivalrous Genoza consul who forbade his crossbowmen to shoot the Count from his tower. Pisa and Venice hired men to man their galleys in Acre itself during the siege. The average rate of pay of a Pisan or Venetian employed sailor on one of their galleys was ten Saracen bezants a day and nine a night. The blockade lasted more than a year, but because the hospitaller complex was also near the Genoza quarter, food was brought to them quite simply, even from as far away as Philip of Montfort in Tyre. At that point, in August 1257, the regent of the kingdom, John of Arsuf, who had initially tried to mediate, confirmed a treaty with the city of Ancona granting it commercial rights in Acre in return for aid of 50 men-at-arms for two years. Though Ancona was an ally of Genoa and John sought by his treaty to bring the feudatories, most of whom were on side, to support Genoa against Venice. His plan ultimately backfired and John of Jaffa and John II of Beirut manipulated the complex regency laws in order to bring the feudatories of the Kingdom of Jerusalem into a position of support for Venice. In this they had the support of the new bailiff, Plaisance of Cyprus, Bowman via of Antioch, and the Knights Templar. At this juncture, Philip of Montfort, who had been providing food to the Genoza in Acre, was one of Genoa's only supporters. Philip was staying about a mile away from Acre, in a place called the New Veni, disambiguation needed, with 80 men on horses and 300 archer villains from his land. In June, as per a plan, he marched on Acre and joined up with a band of hospitallers while the Genoza fleet attacked the city by sea. The Genoza navy, numbering some 48 galleys and four sailing ships armed with siege engines, under Rosso della Turca was quickly overrun by the Venetians and the Genoza had to abandon their quarter and retreat with Philip to Tyre. The conflict wore down and by 1261 a fragile peace was in effect, though the Genoza were still out of Acre. Pope Urban IV, who had become understandably worried about the effect of the war in the event of a Mongol attack, a threat that passed without materializing, now organized a council to re-establish order in the kingdom following five years of fighting. The Genos then approached Michael VIII Paleologos, Emperor of Nicaea. After the Treaty of Nymphium was ratified in 1261, the Emperor funded 50 ships to fight the Venetians. After this assault, in 1264, the Venetians returned to Tyre to conquer it, but backed out when Tyre received reinforcements. During the continuous skirmishing of the 1260s, both sides employed Muslim soldiers, mostly Turkopoles, against their Christian foes. In 1266, the Genoza had made an alliance with Baybars, who was to outfit some troops for an expedition against Acre, but the Genoza promised fleet never got underway. In 1267, Genoa managed to capture the Tower of Flies and blockade the harbour of Acre for 12 days before being evicted by a Venetian flotilla. The ongoing warfare between Genoa and Venice had a major negative impact on the kingdom's ability to withstand external threats to its existence, save for the religious buildings. 
Most of the fortified and defended edifices in Acre had been destroyed at one point or other and according to Rotherlin, the continuator of William of Tyre's history, 20,000 men in total had lost their lives, a frightful number considering the Crusader states were chronically short on soldiery. The War of St. Sabbath was settled in 1270 with a pact to cease the hostilities between the Venetians and the Genoza. In 1288, Genoa finally received their quarter in Acre back.